Hello, this is Rahul from Learning Simplified. Now we shall trace out this program. So let's get started. Let us start at main. The first statement is we are declaring a variable i of, int, of type int and we are initializing it to 0. So what do we have? i and the value is 0. Now we have a for loop here. So let's check the syntax of for loop first. Whenever we encounter a for loop, the first statement that is to be executed in the for loop is this one. Initialization is executed first. Then condition is checked. Then this is not executed. It directly goes into the body of the for loop. Then after the body of the for loop ex is executed, this afterthought, uh, whatever we, we put here, this will be executed. So the order of execution is this is 1, this is 2, this is 3 and this is 4. And again after this is executed it again goes to condition and checks for the condition. So this is 5 and this goes on. If the condition uh, satisfies then it enters the body loop again. So this becomes 6. Then after thought is executed again this will be 7 and it goes on we don't uh, initialize again and again. This is the loop that uh, that will go on until the condition fails. Now in our program we can see here that oh I forgot to tell you these statements <coughs> these three are separated by a delimiter called as semicolon they are they are separated by semicolon so we can see here that before the first semicolon, we don't have any statements. So there is no initialization for this for loop. Okay. Now the second one is condition. What is the condition? It is post increment. What it does is when we use post increment, uh, we get the value of the, the current value of i, then later the, uh, the value of i will be incremented. So it, the, here we have the value of 0. But 0 means the condition is not true, it is false. So the for loop is not executed at all. Now it goes to the next statement. Why for loop is not executed? i++ plus plus means the current value of i which is 0. So we go to the next statement that is printf percentile d i. But what is the value of i? The value of i is 1 because uh, previously we have executed this statement i++ plus plus, and 0 is incremented to 1. So 1 will be printed here. So let's check uh, whether we have traced it right or not by executing it. Run. Okay. Yes, the result we have got the correct result. So that's all for this video. See you next time. Until then, happy learning.